It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with the star of the show, the man with the plan, happens to be my father and the chief investment officer of Payne Capital Management, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. Happy Father's Day weekend. Hey, thanks, Ryan. I appreciate that. And uh, I don't know about you, but I, I hope you're excited about the 2018 kickoff of the World Cup this week. Uh, it's going to be exciting. I have to say, I'm not a huge soccer fan, but when the World Cup comes around, it's hard not to catch up and watch some of the games and, and get caught up in uh, you know World Cup fever. Well, you know, it happens to be a tremendous market indicator. Now, why is that? Is the market hopefully bullish? When, Every uh, winning team since 1974, except for one year, that market outperformed the global market by an average of 3.5%. So get ready to bet big on the winner. Oh, wow. I wonder who's favorite to win. So I have to start to uh, look to put my money uh, in that country. I think the actually the one country that didn't outperform when they won it in 2002, Brazil. Ah, Brazil. They've had their troubles. They definitely have their Boy, troubles. They sure have. <laughs> So, Bob, just out of curiosity, do you still have that vinyl collection that you used to uh, have stored away when we were kids? Uh, yeah, I do. Ever- I got a whole bunch of albums stored up in the uh, office closet and Bluebell, but they're kind of a mess. They're kind of scratchy, and I think you guys used to play them a lot when you were younger. We did enjoy the vinyl. And in fact, I was reading some recent statistics, and apparently there's been a big resurgence in vintage vinyl. In fact, you can make some serious cash, depending on some of the records that you have, I think one record you actually did have, which goes for a lot of money, is the first pressing of the Doors Morrison Hotel goes for like 1100 bucks. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's great. I mean, this will be a new portfolio strategy on how to supplement your lack of, <laughs> of bond income. Sell your vinyl pressed Doors collection. <laughs> hey, hey. I think uh, there's, there's worse ways to make money. And if you want to guess what artist has had the most expensive vinyl record sold and how much it went for? Elvis Presley. How did you know? I don't know. He's the king. <laughs> You're actually right. It was Elvis Presley. Apparently, his one-off pressing of My Happiness, which was recorded down in Sun Studios in Memphis, Tennessee, was auctioned for $300,000. So hold on to those records. I was never a big Elvis fan, so I don't think I have that one. <laughs> I, I like the Las Vegas years personally. But <laughs> 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 well, we got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about things to address now or defer to later. There's a lot of things in your financial life that make sense to put off and other things you need to do immediately. Bob and I are going to break those down for you. We're going to talk about holes in your retirement plan. What gaps do you have in your financial plan now? How are you going to bridge them? We're going to talk about some strategies you can use there as well. Along with this week's financial pornography. There's a lot out there that's very egregious. You need to know about it. We're going to bring it to your attention. And we have this week's spotlight. We have our certified financial planner, Courtney Dominguez, on the show this morning talking about a real retirement plan she worked on and point out some of the mistakes and some of the different strategies she used to help a couple get on track for retirement, to help you make some good decisions about your retirement. So let's hop to it. So Bob... You know, there's a lot of things when it comes to our financial life that, well, it can be very beneficial to defer, and there's other things that we need to get on right away. And the first one I think about is deferring taxes. Is that a good thing or bad thing? It is a phenomenal thing, Ry. It is the greatest thing. Phenomenal. Yes. Wow. It's the only... You take your 401k, your 403b, even an IRA or a Roth 401k doesn't matter. It's the only legal tax shelter available to you today. Can you name anything else? That's legal? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's pretty much our only real, real pre-tax, tax-deferred growing benefit, to your point, is your retirement plan. It's one of the only real tax advantages we have left. Yeah. And not only that, a majority of companies are actually putting in a 2 3 4 sometimes 7% match, which is free money. I don't know about you, but I love free money. How about you, son? Bob, let's say money won is much sweeter than money earned. 
Yeah, no, it's not just you. It's like, take a look at your children. Are your children maxing out their 401k or your grandchildren? Uh, A lot of times you have trust funds set up for your children. Distribute a little more income so they can max out that benefit. It's a benefit that goes away at the end of every calendar year. You can't go back and say, oh, I missed it in 2016. I'm going to take advantage of it now, right? It's it's, it's the only way to defer tax. And I don't know about you, but I know we have to pay tax when it comes out. But who do you trust, yourself or the government, to invest your money properly? Yeah, I definitely uh, would put my abilities ahead of the government's. But one other thing you have to think about, though, is a lot of times you may have been putting a lot of money in your retirement plans at work, and now you're getting close to retirement, and you may have a lot of money in IRAs, 401ks, 403bs, whatever type of vehicle that you have. And at 70 and a half, Bob, you have to start taking that money out. And we call that the proverbial ticking tax time bomb. So sometimes it makes sense to start looking at some strategies to maybe take that money out earlier than 70 and a half so that you're not hit with what we would call this ticking tax time bomb. You know, that's so well said, right? It's, uh, there's ways to defuse that time bomb. You know, for example, last year, you and I took money out of our profit sharing and put it into a Roth IRA, even though we had to pay tax. It was actually cheaper to do it last year than it was for us to wait until we're 70 and a half. That's right. You know, Roth conversion type strategies, which you might hear a lot about, can be a very advantageous strategy, especially if you're retired now and 70 and a half is still a while off. There's a lot of things you can do with your IRAs that you don't want to wait on, going back to things to put off and things to do now. Bob, another thing that I think about all the time when we have you come into our office is typically you've been procrastinating on those legal documents. Why do people procrastinate, Bob? And is it smart to procrastinate? No, it's the worst thing you can do. And, and half of you do not have even a simple will. So the first thing you want to do is pull over, call an attorney, get an appointment. Hey, look, every family knows someone who's an attorney. There's attorneys everywhere. Your friends know attorneys. Your family knows attorneys. You can find anyone to do a simple will. Do it right now. Yeah, Bob. And the last thing that we talk about on this show all the time, you know, it's really our mantra and something that we're not doing is getting a plan in place. You probably have a collection of investments, a couple different advisors slash brokers. You think you're diversified, but there's no concerted plan. Right. One is a goal, simply a wish. Oh, man. I don't know. When you're just thinking about it, Bob? No, when it's not written down. Dreams are only a wish unless you write it down. And the only way to write it down is to sit down and put together a written financial plan. I got to be honest, Bob. That doesn't sound like a lot of fun. Well, it's not. (laughs) It's not. You know what? And when you go home tonight, what do you want to do? Do you want to go watch Netflix and see what the latest series is and binge watch something? Or do you want to sit down and do a financial plan? Hardly think that's what's on your agenda. So you have to have someone as a, an advocate. You need someone to do it for you. And that's simply sit down with a fiduciary. Make that appointment right away. Yeah, exactly. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a plan. I'm going to go home and watch Netflix tonight. I'm not going to start working on my budget. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and myself will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review to get you on the right track for retirement. Just simply take all those statements, just put them in a folder, brown paper bag as they come in this month, bring them in the office. We will go through everything for you. We'll literally load everything into a personalized portal just for you. And we'll view everything from a bird's eye view and look at all the critical components to your portfolio. We're going to look at things like fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? What hidden costs are in your portfolio? We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio. We're going to look at diversification. How much risk do you have in your portfolio? Is your money properly spread out? Are you protected if the market pulls back? Are you protected if the market goes down? We're going to show you how to safeguard and bulletproof your portfolio. And finally, we're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. What is your income gap going to be? We're going to show you how to increase or optimize the income on your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. And all you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. Now, you have to be one of the next 10 callers and you have to have saved at least 200000 for your retirement 
But if so, our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you text or call right now. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Rye Payne. We're the pains of no pain, no gain financial radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Officer and Managing Director at Payne Capital Management. And the Dow Jones Industrial Average finished down for the week while all the growth indices hit new highs. Small company, mid-sized company, and large company growth stocks all traded at all-time record highs in price this past week with small caps leading the pack at over 12% year to date. Now, this happened despite a week of what you would expect to be market moving news. The North Korean summit, the Federal Reserve's latest rate hike, and the European Central Banks announced that it would end its bond buying later this year. Aside from the central banks, trade worries continued away on investors' minds as the Trump administration announced additional tariffs. It appears to us that the noise and the rhetoric are becoming louder and louder these days. And it makes it difficult for the average investor to decipher the difference between the fundamental realities and what we view as simply noise or not events. The equity market is measured by the S&P 500 and is going into what one analyst has defined as the big stall. The stalls cause some pundits to trumpet that the rally's over. And at best, the market will be range bound for the remainder of the year. What these pundits can't ignore is the stronger than expected economic data that continues to support the equity market. Retail sales jumped by eight-tenths of 1% last month, twice as high as forecasted. The import price index and business inventories rose in May, and the newest jobless claims dropped by 4,000, and stale stands at 218,000 in the latest week. The International Monetary Fund announced the U.S. economy outlook was strong. So the employment report for May was very bullish. It was the 92nd month with payroll growth. Now, that's the longest stretch in the history of that data. So keep in mind, the real secret to becoming a successful investor is to keep our eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the long run. Don't be distracted by short-term fluctuations caused by noise and rhetoric. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio built to win in this environment? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? Give us a call or text. 844-752-6692. It's 844-752-6692. Planning for retirement shouldn't feel like rocket science, but it's easy to get lost in the financial jargon. Every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the gram meters. Let's clear up the confusion. Back to Ryan and Bob. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I, we're simple men. We need to keep it simple. And of course, we want to keep it simple for you. That's why we put together our latest online video course, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. It's a great baseline to get the financial planning process started. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. You can get our online video series for free. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. You can get it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. So Bob, If you've ever ridden the subway in London, you've probably seen the mind the gap signs warning you to be aware of the gap between the train door and the station platform. So let's talk about minding the gaps that you may have in your retirement planning. And, you know, the first one would be that paycheck gap, right? When you stop working, you've got to somehow figure out how to have income to live on. It's that simple. That's that's, that's so true, right? It's like the scariest leap of your life. Do you remember the movie... Indiana Jones and the Holy Grail, where he had to take that leap of faith to go across that invisible bridge. Yes, it was a great movie. Yeah, I mean, he had to take that first step on blind faith. It's kind of the same thing when you go into retirement without a plan. 
you know, take that first step of the invisible bridge. I mean, why should it be invisible when you can make it, you know, more realistic and plan for it? I mean, it's really that simple. Yeah. And that's why we, we talk a lot about, again, planning, planning, planning. But, you know, that's the thing is when you look at your investment portfolio, what you want to really ask yourself is like, is there a purpose for this? You know, how is this going to get me through retirement? Is there an articulated plan here that says, okay, my portfolio is going to generate X amount of income. My portfolio is going to be able to keep up with what the cost of living is going to be because it's not just about that income gap. The problem is in retirement, Bob, and like the biggest enemy you have is your cost of living is going to go up because of inflation. That's so true, right? Too many of you are focused on relative performance. You know, how did my Facebook do relative to my Google? You know, you can't buy lunch with relative performance. You need income, right? You need cash flow in order to supplement your lack of income from your former salary. So that income gap is the number one concern you have when you're retired or when you're going into retirement. Yeah. And it gets a little more complex too, because depending when you retire, you got to make decisions about when do you take social security, right? Because oh, sure. if you retire earlier, you can take social security earlier. If you retire later, well, you could take it at age 66 maybe, or maybe at 70. So determining when to take that is a big gap. And on top of that, if you retire before 65, you've got to worry about your medical insurance. So there's Most a lot of people, gaps right? Take their social security at 62, which simply states, screams out, I didn't do any planning. <clears throat> you know, oh, there's money to be had, I'm going to take it. Not always the right solution. Sometimes it is. Well, I'll tell you what, knowing that based on the most recent statistics, that social security is going to be depleted by the early 2030s, you may want to take it early, but that's another conversation altogether. Um, but yeah, you're right, Bob. Depending on your situation, you know, Social Security is definitely a personalized decision. The other thing I just talked a little bit about is that inflation gap, right? You've got to account for the fact that your million dollars today is going to be worth a half a million dollars over the next 20 years. That cuts your purchasing power in half. That really is lousy. Well, a lot of people think inflation has gone, right? Because we've had a low inflationary environment. But the Federal Reserve this week said, you know, inflation is now exceeding their target and they're comfortable with it. Are you comfortable with it? Yeah. And we see this a lot all the time. Like I had a couple that I was working with last week and literally have almost all their money in 2% CDs. Some of the money's in high yielding, quote unquote, money market funds paying like 1.5%. And we looked at their goals and we said, man, you know, this money's not going to last. You're actually losing money against inflation or the cost of living because if inflation's averaged, Bob, close to 3% since World War II, and you're earning 1% or 2% on your money, which you pay taxes on, you're actually losing against purchasing power, which is kind of scary. You know, it's like that old uh, passbook mentality that your grandmother had, Rye, that, uh, you know, as long as that number in the book that was penciled in went up every month, even though it was a couple of pennies, they felt very secure not realizing that this insidious growth of inflation is hidden and it's very insidious and it's compounding away. You need to have that in your financial plan. You need to know, is your portfolio going to overcome inflation so your purchasing power is the same today as it is 20 years from now? Yeah. Well, it gets worse, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> You're the grim reaper this week, buddy. <laughs> so now I have to worry about the cost of living going up in the same couple I worked with last week. The other problem is, what about long-term care? Oh, you know, because we're living longer, there's a good chance you could see a chunk of money come out of your portfolio in the tune of like a quarter of a million dollars to cover some kind of long-term care costs. So well, A lot of it, people you know, don't think they're going to live longer, right? But look at your own family and look at the medical advances that we have just as of yesterday and look what's going to happen going forward. I mean, we're all going to live longer and we're all going to be healthier, but we're all going to have issues. And it's expensive when you have health issues. Well, I mean, the other thing you can look at too is how many clients do we have that are over 90 now, right? I mean, that was not a big percentage of our, our client base a couple of years back. It's just uh, the dynamics are changing. So there's just so many more things you need to plan for. And either you have to have insurance for some of these things, you definitely have to have an income plan. You got to figure out how you're going to generate income on your portfolio, but you also need a growth plan, right? I mean, you need to have your money growing over what the cost of living is. And that's why you kind of need a mixture of a lot of different things. It's not just an all or none type strategy now. You know, and I'll tell you what, Ry, these are really good questions. And if you're wondering, do I have all those answers? Well, what we'd like to offer, if you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved at least 200000 for retirement, Ry and I will run for you 
our total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but you have to be one of the next few callers. And here's exactly what we'll do for you. We'll take a look at your tax return, not us, but our CPA partner, just to make sure that you're utilizing every tax benefit available to you in the current code. We're going to look over your estate plan. You know, every year you should check your beneficiary, your guardian you know, of your minor children, your trustees to make sure that you've named the right people and to be certain that your estate plan's not an IOU to the Internal Revenue Service. Boy, we certainly hope not. And lastly, we're going to look at your whole portfolio, all of your investment statements. Now, we just finished, you know, the month of May. So your May statements are coming in the mailbox. So you know what? I know it's a pain in the butt to open those up and to collate it and put it all together. We don't want you to do any work. Stick them in a shopping bag. Pick up the phone, make an appointment. We're going to take your entire investment portfolio and reduce it down to a simple analysis, looking at the three key elements of a successful portfolio, diversification, cost, and income. We want to be certain that you are truly diversified against these volatile markets that we're experiencing right now. You know, most portfolios are loaded with hidden costs. Why not know what they are? You don't want to be overcharged by your own portfolio. And lastly, we talk over and over about the income gap. Is there an income gap in your strategy, especially as you approach retirement? And I'll tell you what, the biggest goal my clients have is to stay retired. And then finally, we're going to tie it all together into one customized total financial master plan, utilizing strategies that my family has been perfecting now for over 40 years. That's right. For over four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, to your goals, to your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Give us a call now at 844-752-6692. You can actually call or text 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over 200,000 saved for retirement. Call or text us now at 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- 752 6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. They really separate themselves from the large brokerages and how important their personal relationship is with you, the client. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. You'll have the freedom to select top investment strategies, not just one particular product. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call or text today for a complimentary review. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So Bob, what you find out there this week in the hard world of financial pornography? You know, Rye, I was so steeped in so many negative articles, I didn't know which one to choose. So much financial pornography that you just, you're like a kid in a candy store. (laughs) Oh, it's like so dangerous to your financial health. But here's my favorite, you know, how to weather and even better, how to cash in on the upcoming market crash. How do we do it, Bob? I'm ready. I got my pencil out. I'm taking notes. Uh, Here's the subtitle. The The end of the bull market is upon us. Okay. That sounds like- or. It might be really close, or it might be getting closer. (laughs) Actually, really, nobody has any clue on the timing of end of the bull market. I mean, so what do we do? Oh, this is telling you what to do in the event that we're going to have a crash. First Um, of all, you've got to get comfortable with not making money. That sounds counterintuitive, Bob. Can you uh, you explain? (laughs) Well, that's the problem with financial pornography. If you listen (laughs) to it and you follow it, I guarantee you, not only will you underperform, you won't make any money. But here's the best advice they gave in this article, Rye. Don't lose your job in the recession. What recession? 
All right, we're <laughs> going to have a recession. It's gonna, first, we're going to have a bear market, and we're going to have a recession. And we don't know when, but we're going to have it eventually. And if we do, don't lose your job. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have some of the lowest unemployment we've ever had in history. <laughs> we have modest growth in the economy. The world's growing right now. But, you know, we need to put on our, uh, you get our canteen and our pocket knife and go out in the desert and uh, and get prepared. So. Oh, of course. Now, the other advice I gave, Rye, was to take some risk and go short. Can you imagine if you were short the Russell 2000 making an all-time record high three weeks in a row or the NASDAQ 100? making record highs three weeks in a row, or mid-capitalization growth stocks making new highs three weeks in a row. Can you imagine if you're short? Do you know what that, how much money you've lost in the last three weeks following this article's advice? Yeah, so like by being short, meaning that you're actually betting against the market, like a casino, and mm -hmm. you would have clearly had the market go against you if you had bet that it was going to go down when it went up, and you would have lost a lot of money. So You know, Rye, so clearly, these authors of these articles, they view the financial markets as one big giant casino. And the advice they give, it's just like someone advising you on your next trip to Vegas or Atlantic City, or, oh, better yet now, we can bet it on sport books in, in Atlantic City this week. Yeah, exactly right. And that's why, again, we talk about it all the time. It's about planning. It's about time in the market, not timing the market. And that's why it's so critical to put together something that's going to really last the long term as opposed to reading these egregious articles week after week that are warning you of uh, of you know whatever bad, unpredictable things ahead. So yeah, not it's the all best about how to not to invest, way. never about how to invest. Yes. And again, talking about not how to invest, I found an article this week our old employer, Bob, is in big, big trouble. Boy, they keep stepping in it, don't they? Bank of America Merrill Lynch is agreed to pay $15 million to settle bond claims. Apparently, Merrill Lynch will have to pay over $15 million to settle claims that its traders lied, shocking, about how much they pay to acquire mortgage bonds, allowing the bank to charge a higher price to clients buying the securities. Now, this you is something- that old adage, right? The, the client's interest must come first. That doesn't apply to our old employer anymore. It sounds like it. And you know, we talk about this a lot, Bob. You know, Bonds, which a lot of times is a more complex place to be than the stock market. We think about bonds. We think about safety. And one thing you and I talk about all the time is you don't want to own bond funds because you don't own the bonds. The other thing you don't want to do is buy bonds from a brokerage house because just like this, they typically mark the bonds up to outrageous prices. And in this case, it looks like they even lied about the pricing. Well, you know, Rye, I mean, it's always better, right? What's better, buy wholesale or buy retail? Now, when you're buying a bond from a brokerage firm or a Fidelity, you're buying retail. So how do you buy wholesale? I mean, the only way that we buy bonds is institutionally through an institutional manager, just because let's face it, us, the retail investor, we just get, for lack of a better way of putting it, we get screwed, Bob. You know, we, there's, yeah. there's no way on a retail desk, whether it's at any firm, you're going to get a good deal. Even if your broker says, I found some great bonds, the reality of it is you're getting the leftovers and you're going to get them marked up to an unfair price. Yeah, that's, that's a great point, Rob, because even if you had 100 million or you had 200 million investable assets in the eyes of Wall Street, you're just a simple, small retail client, right? If you're able to work with a firm that can take their collective buying power and buy on an institutional level, right? Buy wholesale, you get a better deal. You know, less is better than more. You know, why pay more when you can pay less? Yeah, it's kind of like you go into your local uh, shop, right? Versus going to, to Costco, right? When you buy in bulk, the pricing's much, much better. And if you do it again, like you said, Bob, if you do it as a collective, then everybody benefits. But you know, we've said this for many, many years, and you and I come from the brokerage industry, so we know how you know unfair that pricing can be. And here's a perfect example of there was outright fraud in terms of the kind of pricing that they're charging customers, and it's something you know most of us aren't aware that actually happens behind the doors of the bank per se. Well, you know, the bond market's so fragmented, right? There's so many issuers. There really isn't any facility for a stockbroker or a bond salesman, you know, to really understand the underlying credit quality of the bonds they're actually selling. I mean, once you buy them, you're on your own. You want to have an institutional manager who who knows what they're buying and knows what to hold. And, you know, you're getting the institutional pricing both when you buy the bond and when you sell the bond. You know, those spreads in between can add up to a lot of money out of your pocket.
That's right. And I think, you know, it's even more important, especially if you're close to retirement and in retirement, bonds are going to play a really important role in your portfolio, especially for generating income. So the way you own those bonds, you don't want to screw it up. So simply putting your money in that bond fund or buying bonds through a broker, it's a really, really easy way to screw up what's supposed to be the safe conservative part of your portfolio. You know, Rise is called fixed income, right? You want a fixed coupon, a fixed interest rate that you're guaranteed to get paid every year. And you want a fixed date where you get all your money back. I don't know about you, but return of my money is paramount to return on the money. Beautifully said, Bob. If you're sitting there thinking, I need a real plan. I can't be reliant on that financial pornography out there telling me that tomorrow the world's going to end. I need to own bonds outright. I don't need to own bond funds. I've got to get serious about my planning. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan, and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we analyze everything. So simply just bring in those statements, put them in a folder. We'll go through everything for you here in the office. We'll load everything into a portal to create a personalized view of all your assets. And we're going to look at all the critical components. We're going to look at things like fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? Are the brokerage houses charging you too much? Just like these bonds being sold, Merrill Lynch was just fine for it. We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. Is your portfolio properly diversified? What risks do you have in your portfolio? Are you protected against the next market downturn? Bob and I are going to show you how to build safeguards into your portfolio. And we're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. What is your income gap? How are you going to fill it? We're going to show you how to increase or optimize the income on your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together and we're going to determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call. 844-752-6692. Now, you have to be one of the next few callers. We have a few slots left, and you have to have over 200000 for your retirement. But our team will run for you your own personal total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation, and there's no cost. But of course, there's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob. I'm with Rye. We're the pains of no pain, no gain financial radio. Hi, I'm a cleverly devised personification of Wall Street. I'm one wild roller coaster ride away from wreaking havoc on your investments, and I love to mess with your emotions. If you're not properly diversified, you can bet I'll keep you up all night thinking about me. There's really only one way to keep me off your mind, and that's by coming in for a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. They'll ease your fears about market volatility with their signature Total Financial Master Plan. They'll even help you get financially organized with their 360 Financial Portal. It's a great way to get all your statements in one place. Otherwise, when I take a plunge, I'll send you scrambling through your file cabinet hoping you're well prepared. Don't wait for turmoil to hit. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Schedule your visit with Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If your advisor reminds you of Gordon Gecko, Fisherman always sees another fisherman from afar. It might be time for a fresh perspective. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I give you practical, simple, easy to understand advice because we're simple men. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. You can just get a baseline, get started with the financial planning process. It's an easy way to do it. You can check it out. 
what you need to know about it, creating an income you cannot outlive. Just a simple baseline. Get the financial planning process started. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob and subscribe to our show, simply go to bebullish.com and you can see just how amazing Bob's hair really is. The radio doesn't do it justice, so you can check us out at vbullish.com. You can subscribe to the show there. You can catch me most weeks on CNBC, Fox Business News, doing regular appearances. And if you ever have a question for myself and Bob, you can always email us, questions at bbullish.com. That's questions at bbullish.com. And if it's a really good question, we answer it right here on the show. And to help us with questions today, we have our producer, the man in the background who makes things look good, Mark Haywood. Good morning, Mark. What's shaking on this Father's Day weekend, man? Good morning. Good morning. Well, after we finish recording, I'm going to head down to the beach to spend Father's Day with my soon-to-be in-laws. So the soon-to-be father-in-law. I need to impress him this weekend. I'm afraid to ask if that is that a, if that could be a fun time, stressful time, or... It's going to be a fun time, but I also know that this time sets the precedent for the next 40 to 50 some odd years of the rest of my life. And so, <laughs> so I better get it right this weekend. Bob, do you have any advice? So, you know, it's probably wise not to drink too much bourbon and cause some trouble. Yes, not too much bourbon, not too many cigars. Just uh, play it smooth. Make sure to get the man a gift to make a good impression and hopefully sit back in the sunshine we're getting and enjoy it. Hey man, I got two words for you, Mark. Just say, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> which is uh, kind of like two words when I get married, which will be, yes, ma'am. So if I can learn those, I'll be golden. Oh, You're man. on your way. <laughs> on my way, on my way. Well, we got a couple of good email questions for you guys this morning. One comes into us from Ron in Harrison, New York. This one's for Bob. He says, Bob, I'm anticipating a market crash any day now, so I have about half of my IRA in cash. That means I have about $350,000 that's not really making any money. So I don't want to just leave it there for too long. How long should I wait before I reinvest it? Well, Ron, you must have been reading that article that I referenced in our financial pornography segment talking about a market crash. And, you know, all you've done is join the crowd of $9 trillion sitting on the sidelines since the bottom in January of 2009 or March of 2009, waiting for this eminent crash in the market. You know what, Rye, when it comes to investing, you know, one of my favorite Bobisms is investing is like eating. You should do it every day. So if you've got money, <laughs> what should you do with it, Rye? Get it to work because it's not about the market going up and down. It's really about the dividends and interest that your money pays. It's about compounding your money. And that's why income is so, so critical. It's not just critical when you're retired, but while you're investing your money, the beauty of investing is the fact that your investments pay cash flow. Like No one ever talks about that, but it's only the most important thing, Bob. Yes, I think the focus is too much on the stock market. I mean, you have a diversified portfolio means you want to have a, a portfolio of high quality bonds that pay interest and come due. But you know what happens is that this financial news or uh, this media you know, can cause paralysis. And I have another expression I like to say, right? Scared money never wins. And basically what happens is that you keep delaying the decision because you're afraid of what might happen tomorrow. So I think the, the most important thing is to invest based on a plan and take baby steps. You don't have to put it all in at once, right? You can dollar cost average into the stock market, dollar cost average into high quality bonds, you know, there's never, never, ever does it have to be all or none. Yeah, and I think that's the one thing that's always a misconception. There's, you don't have to have an all or none strategy, right? Diversification is about having money spread out. It's about having conservative investments mixed in with more aggressive investments. So really, whatever happens in the markets, you're prepared. Because we don't know ahead of time, but you want to have everything in your portfolio that can address any situation. You know, we, we call that the proverbial all-weather portfolio, and that's really what diversification is about. It is. I mean, asset allocation is a very personal decision, and it's really about getting you to your comfort level, to what I call the sleeping point. So when you have a personalized asset allocation, you can actually stress test it, right, Right. You can run what-if scenarios all day long because of the sophisticated software that's out there today. Yeah, it's all about risk management and, again, figuring out what you need to do to get to your goals. 
All right, thanks for the question, Ron. Let's move over now to Tom in Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. Tom says, Ryan, I have an MBA and I understand investments well. So I've handled my portfolio myself instead of having any professional help. And I've always done well. In your honest opinion, is there really any reason for me to work with an advisor? Well, I mean, congratulations on doing well. First off, Tom, on your investments. You know, there's no shame in that. I think it just comes down to as you get closer to retirement, the stakes are a lot higher and into retirement because now, you know, it's not this thing that's that's far off and any mistakes that you may have made in the past, and I'm sure look, we've all made mistakes in the past, but you have the time to really heal from those mistakes. 2008 being case in point, Bob, you know, if you lost a lot of money in 2008, had you just waited it out, eventually you would have recovered your money. But that gets a lot harder to do as you get close to and into retirement. Well, you know, Roy, it's not just Tom. Maybe he really is a good investor. You know, who knows? It's all relative. But what about your family? What about your spouse? Is your spouse a great investor? What happens if you're no longer here to have these brilliant insights and make these decisions? Who takes care of your family? Yeah, that's the other thing is when you're not on God's green earth, well, first off, do you have everything in one place? And that's why we built our 360 portal, because you might know where everything is. You might know that the will is behind the shoebox and you have some old savings bonds that are hidden in the closet somewhere else, but your spouse probably doesn't know all those things. So getting everything in one place and getting a plan that hey, if you're not on God's green earth, everything can keep moving. Because let me tell you, when the loss of a spouse happens, the last thing you want to do is try to get everything organized financially. It's really not fair to your loved ones. Right. You know, you, you're a great guitar player. You love playing the guitar. Do you ever ask for any help? Bob, let's reflect on that for a second. I'm a great guitar player. I agree with you 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll I really enjoy playing opinion. guitar. You're good looking too. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Look, I've used this analogy before, but you know, I love guitar. I'm actually probably more of an intermediate, uh, I wouldn't say professional guitarist, but there are professional guitarists out there. And I actually hired a guitarist to teach me because there's quicker ways to get from point A to point B. And there's people that have been doing it forever. And I hired a professional to get better quicker. And I think it's the same thing with your finances. You know, Someone who's done it thousands and thousands of times before probably has some ideas that you don't have. And it really becomes your sounding board as opposed to just giving up control, kind of like a coach or mentor. On a scale of one to 10, what do you think, Ron and Tom, how financially organized would you say they are? I'm afraid they're probably a three or four... Just guessing, but I'm, I have to think it's somewhere around there. How financially organized would you like to be? Don't we want to be a 10, Bob? Yeah, absolutely right. If you want to be a 10 when it comes to being financially organized, all you have to do is call. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for retirement. Ryan and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal. Now, this is a holistic view of of everything that you own and will financially organize you in a way that you'll know what you own and you know why you own it. It'll also articulate your goals in a visual sense where you'll be able to see how, what your goals are, but more importantly, how you're tracking towards those goals. If you're one of our next few callers, here's exactly what you could expect. We're going to have your tax return reviewed by a CPA partner to be certain that you're utilizing every tax benefit available to you under the current code. We're going to review your estate plan to make sure it's not an IOU to the IRS. And lastly, we're going to put all of your investment statements into our 360 financial portal, and we're going to analyze it to see if you have the three key elements of a successful portfolio. Diversification, cost, and income. You want to be certain that you understand what you own and know why you own it. You want to see that you're not being overcharged by the hidden cost in your current portfolio. And lastly, we want to be certain that you have a source of income that fills that gap either before retirement or while you're in retirement. And lastly, we'll tie it all together into one customized total financial master plan, utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years, helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams, with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text now at 844-752-6692. Get a second opinion. We have a couple slots left. Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. 
800-636-6692. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, this is your chance to get that second opinion at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain financial radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the banks are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. That's right, Ryan. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right. And that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word cash, that's C-A-S-H, cash, to 844-752-6692. That's text the word cash, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. Nine two. Here's this week's spotlight on no pain, no gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I want to educate you. That's why we put together our latest video series, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. It's just a simple baseline. Get started with the financial planning process. You can simply text the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. You can download it for free. That's what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. It's a simple three-part series. Get started. You can download it for free. Text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. And on this segment, we have a very special guest on the show, certified financial planner, Bob and Amaya's colleague, Courtney C. Money Dominguez. Good morning, Court. Good morning. Thank you guys for having me. It's an honor. It's an honor to have you on the show. Always an honor to have you on the show. It's an honor to be here. <laughs> so this is our spotlight segment where we take a real retirement plan and we uncover the flaws or what we call pain points. That's P-A-Y-N-E for the record. So you know, we can help everyone avoid the same mistakes with their retirement planning and investing. And you worked on a case. I think you and Bob together actually worked on a case recently. Why don't you give us a rundown, talk about some of the solutions that you came up with? Yes. Yeah, this was when Bob and I actually, yes, we did this one together. And we met with a couple actually right in the area here who has just retired. So they came to us and they said, we have saved for retirement. We just retired. We're very happy about where we are. We just want to make sure everything's set up and that we're going to be okay in retirement. So just a second opinion, basically. Exactly. So they came to us and really just saying, okay, I think I have enough assets isn't always enough if you don't have a game plan in place going forward. Because the biggest issue that I saw with them is they're invested extremely aggressively. And yes, they may have enough investments to be able to retire right now, but if there's some sort of big correction and all of their eggs are in one basket, they could be out of luck and they may not be able to stay retired, which is a huge issue. Yeah, exactly right. So they're taking way more risk than they need to take. And it's always like, why put yourself at unnecessary risk. Exactly. So just to give you kind of a, an idea, this client we were looking at, they had almost 70% of their assets all in the S&P 500, which is more aggressive than I would invest like even my 20-year-old clients in, let alone oh. somebody who's about to retire. Mm. And furthermore, they have an income gap right now. So they need to generate at least like 50000 a year of income to be able to take from their portfolio. And right now, they're solely dependent on those assets just going up year by year to be able to take off the growth. So they don't have any consistent income coming in, which they need. Well, I thought the other thing that was interesting is that they had that focus on the S&P 500. Did they actually outperform the S&P 500? No. (laughs) Why is that? They own exactly the overcharged portfolio strategies that they were using. Yep. Which we see a lot. (laughs) I see a lot of hidden fees in this portfolio. Well, that's the problem. I mean, it's uh, mutual funds are sold, they're marketed, and you have, not only do you have an inefficient portfolio because they're distributing gains every year, we have to pay taxes, but uh, even on a pre-tax basis, they underperform the S&P by more than the fees they were being charged, but on an after-tax basis, they underperform dramatically. 
That sounds like a bad deal being overcharged, underperform. I don't know. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not into that. Well, the good news is if you take those fees and you knock it down in half, which we could do, all that extra cost, instead of going out of the portfolio, stays in the portfolio, and the outlook is looking really good. Exactly, because not only can we meet the income that they need year by year, we can get way more income than they need that they can compound and have that growing for them. So that way, when they do need it later in life, if there are medical costs they need or inflation's going up, they're going to make sure that that money is growing for them and compounding no matter what the stock markets are doing because they have a lot of cash flow that we can generate for them. I see people who become very brave because we're in a nine-year bull market you know, mm-hmm. second longest expansion in the history of the country. And suddenly they, you know, they go back and you, and that's the nice thing about our, our software. We can go back and we can test, you know, what their portfolio will do, stress test the portfolio. And a lot of people say, oh yeah, I could handle being down 30, 40%. And I don't, I don't think that's humanly possible. I mean, who would want to be down $2 million, you know, because or you're I'll suddenly more brave where you don't need to take that risk. Yeah, especially if you're dependent on your portfolio. And if I'm reading this right, correct me if I'm wrong here, Courtney, but between increasing their income and lowering their fees, you're able to add an additional $96,000 a year coming into the portfolio. That's insane. That is real money. That is real money that they can use right now and they can just grow for them and compound in the future. It, if they just really make sure that they reallocate things and have a plan in place, Their retirement is set, but right now they don't have a plan and they're just hoping that the assets that they have are going to continue to grow. A higher risk does not necessarily equate to higher return. And the beauty of this is by reducing the risk in a portfolio, increasing the compound, you know, the yield increase is almost 2% on close to a $5 million portfolio. That's 2.3 million in additional capital in 20 years, no matter what the Mm -hmm. stock market or bond market does. That's real money where I come from, Bob. Oh, um, just, had, <laughs> just out of curiosity, I mean, were they shocked? Because, I mean, obviously they didn't know they were paying these high fees and they didn't know the income potential in their portfolio, you know, until you put this in front of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think, and I would say probably nine out of 10 people who come to us have no idea what kind of fees that they're paying because a lot of that comes in the form of hidden fees. So this person specifically, they did know what advisor fees they were paying had no idea the additional fees they're paying on top of those that they weren't aware of and the lack of cash flow they were getting. It's huge when they realize how much better they can be doing by lowering their fees and increasing their cash flow. That's a good point. Just because your advisor's charging you 1% doesn't mean that there's not other fees you don't see. And that's the beauty of running this type of analysis because you can show, okay, here's all the fees that you don't see on top of the 1% that you're paying. Great job on this, Courtney and Bob. This is really what we would call another financial masterpiece. Uh, And if you're thinking to yourself, I need an analysis just like this. I need to know the fees I'm paying. I need to fill in my income gap in retirement. Here's your shot to do it. We still have a couple slots left. If you call right now and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, Courtney C. Money Dominguez will run for you. Our total financial master plan will do it with no obligation or cost. It's a review like this. We make it really easy for you. Just bring all those statements in, put them in a folder. We'll go through all of them. We're going to build you a personalized portal so we can do a full bird's eye view analysis and we can look at all those critical components. We're going to look at things like fees. Can we help you reduce the cost on your portfolio? What hidden fees do you have in your portfolio? This couple had a lot of hidden fees in their portfolio and we're able to reduce costs. Can we do it for you? We're going to look at diversification. Is your money in a high, high risk portfolio that if the market goes down, you're going to be in big trouble? We're going to show you how to bulletproof or protect your portfolio. And we're going to look at income. Income so critical in retirement. Between increasing income and reducing fees, we're able to come up with another $96,000 a year for this couple. How can we help you increase income to fill in your income gap? And then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, and we're going to determine that very, very important question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies we have worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Don't miss out. We have a few slots left. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 
for your personal retirement. Our team will create for you your own personal total financial masterpiece. Now, there's no obligation, there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Well, another great show, and it's always... Exciting to have C Money Dominguez coming on the show. So what's up for the, the Father's Day weekend? Are you sending your dad at least something in the mail from all the way out to California? Of course, of course. It is already there and waiting for him. So hopefully he enjoys what's, what's George getting? Well, I can't say on the radio here. I don't want him to find <laughs> out yet. <laughs> well, I'm spending my Father's Day with Big Bob. We're hanging at the shore. Going to solve all the problems of the world. I'm looking forward to it, Big Bob. Not as much as I am, Ry. All right, we'll have a great weekend. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.